Really? Every time? We're, we're just going to do this every time now. I guess we're doing this every time now. Okay. I don't know. For the non-Chinese people out there, there's this thing called Bujigo. And it's like kind of like a Chinese street snack almost. It's very comfort home food. It's a traditional... Here, I'll show you on the camera. It's like a traditional, sort of like a... I think the English term for it is traditional Chinese rice pudding. Um... But yeah, it's very home foody street snack. Hence, that's why I'm eating it off a giant stick because that's how they do it in Hong Kong. I like it. Mom's been making it a lot lately, so I've been eating it like no other. But uh, we're gonna get into the video, right? Wow, that was a bad idea. All right, so. We got two binders to get through today. This is my friend's Pokemon Guard collection. Now, he's got a lot of stuff in here. He used to also open up Pokemon cards from booster packs, but this is like 10 years ago. So, he's got a lot of vintagey stuff. Well, not really vintagey stuff, but like newer vintage stuff. So, we're talking like mm, Diamond, Pearl, EX cards, that kind of stuff. Um, he got some other stuff in here he told me about. So, uh, we're just going to run through these. Let's run through these. And, again, hope you're all having a lovely Thursday. Hope it's treating you okay. This is going to suck to edit, but we'll see. Um, so, uh, my camera is not set up very well to capture all the cards on the page. So, we're going we're gonna to take them out and go through them page by page, that kind of thing. But, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this. You guys probably can't. But, he's actually uh, got some, well, kind of looks like homemade Pokemon cards here. And that's pretty cool. Like, you know, sometimes when you're younger, you can't really afford all the Pokemon cards that you want. So sometimes you just let your uh, creativity get the better of you. And you make your own. And this guy made his own. Uh, this is a Larvitar here with 70 HP fighting type. Uh, Larvitar artwork. He drew this too, right? Uh, rock skin Pokemon. Length, 2 feet. Weight, 159 pounds. Dude, 159 pounds for 2 foot Pokemon. Uh, Pokebody ability. Pokemon power. Hard head. Prevent 10 damage from all attacks. Done to Horus' Larvitar. Cry in pain. This, this is pretty cool. Oh, this is back of scratch paper, I guess, too. What? It blue... Ch okay. Uh, Horus' Pubertar. I guess he's got another one. Tyranitar. And Yo, this is actually pretty cool. I don't know if these are like artwork that he took from like actual cards, but this is this is pretty cool. You see this Tyranitar artwork? It's got a volcano in the back, right? And it's got a slugma with a question mark. Slugma's like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Wait, yo, you guys do you guys see this Dratini? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> like he he I guess he drew these himself. Did you draw this himself yourself, dude? Um that's pretty cool. To, uh, yo, this 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 is a pretty cool uh, Dragonite right here. Actually, is is that a Butterfree in the back? What that looks like a Butterfree in the back. This is pretty cool. <laughs> you, let's let's be real. Did you did you guys ever uh, make your own Pokemon cards back in the day? Did you guys ever draw your own Pokemon cards? Because I feel like this is pretty cool. This is a Haunter in a window, and some dude's cleaning a window. Okay, <laughs> Gengar. This, <laughs> this is really cool. Yo, if you guys ever drew your own Pokemon cards, let me know. Just, like, give me a heads up. Alright, I know, I know. My camera is not working very well. Placement could be better. You got a Chincho. Lantern. Okay. So maybe he stole some of these ideas from, like, actual artwork. But he, he's pretty, uh... He's got some detail in there. This one's, like, shooting out water. And then it's... You got some scenery in the background. This is... I, this is pretty cool. Quagsire. Quagsire's just chilling. Ooh, ooh, yo. We have an Eevee that's... What is it? It's Storming Headbutt. Storming Headbutting, I assume, a Jigglypuff. It's got even the mic in there, too. And an Umbreon. Yo, it's Umbreon with the moon. And a Magikarp. Hold up, do we got a Gyarados in the back? We have a Magikarp here, looking kind of ticked off. And that... It is a Gyarados. Is it doing... Oh, is it... I wonder if it's doing a 
Hyper Beam or Dragon Rage in the picture. And we've reached the end of Horus' Pokemon cards that he drew himself. Alright, so let's get into it. First binder, I believe this could be a non-holographic binder because he has uh, Electabuzzes, which are rare from base set. Nice. Uh, you got a Dark Jolteon, Dark Alakazam. First edition here, Golbat. Dark Golbat. Yeah, these are all the non-holographic <clears throat> variants of it. So we got a Mr. Mime here. Uh, hopefully we can see that pretty clearly. Mr. Mime, first edition. First edition Magneton from Legendary Collection. That's the legendary symbol right there for the set. First edition Muck from Fossil. This is pretty cool. Yo, he's got some pretty good stuff in here. Uh, that's a Dark Blastoise right here from Legendary. Okay. Which is a sort of like a reprint. The set that came out with the first uh, reverse holographics. Brock's Doug Drio. Sabrina's Gengar. So we got some Jim in here. Koga's Arbok. Plains Ninetales. Giovanni's Nidoqueen. Again, all non hollow um, got an Elekid from Neo Genesis, Magni, Neo Genesis, Fortress, is that, uh, Discovery? Is that symbol, I believe? Alright, so, oh, oh, okay. So we've got the, uh, Espeon, non hollow from Discovery, I believe. Kingdra from Revelation. Dark Mar Dark Mag Cargo, DS Destiny, Dark Omastar, Destiny. Furret from the Team Rocket Return. So we got. <clears throat> Sorry. So we got some EX series in here. We got a Team Rockets, a Rockets Wobbuffet. Oh, and we've got Quagsires. Three of them. Okay. It goes pretty well. This. Oh, oh, oh. We got some more Team Rocket cards. Bro, are you going to hook it up with some Team Rocket cards? Add some to my collection? That'd be sick. Tyranitar, Dark Dragonite. Oh, more Dark Tyranitars. Okay. Nice. Nice. All right. I think Dark Dragonite and Dark Tyranitar came in the theme decks, and so while the booster pack set of them were non-holographic rares, I believe the uh, theme decks came with a holographic rare of the this specific Dark Dragonite and this Dark, Dark Tyranitar, because I do have holographic versions of them, but they're also non-holo ones, and this is the set where they didn't have it like that, per se. Not like the Wizards of the Coast sets where they did uh, holographic and non-holographics in the same in the same uh, collection sets. We got three Dark Gyaradoses. I'm going to stop talking so much. Dark Radicate, also from the Team Rocket Returns. We got a... Ooh. <clears throat> wow, what is up with my voice today? Sorry. Weavile. Uh, is that Diamond and Pearl? I think that might be Diamond and Pearl right here. Uh, Weavile. We're getting to the levels. So we got a Team Magma's Groudon from Team Magma versus Team Aqua. Team Aqua's Crawdon, so we got a Wall Rain. Nothing's on the back, right? Yeah, nothing's on the back. These are all one-sided. Ooh, so we got a Venusaur from, I have no idea what set that is actually, but these are these look like Diamond and Pearl sets because I believe the Diamond and Pearl sets are the ones that had levels next to the name. Magmortar, Needle King, Sharpedo, Zatu, Jolteon and a B drill. Okay, we've got so many cards to get through. All right, we gotta speed this up because I'm taking so long. My bad. Melotic, Lapras, Latias, got some Abomas Nose. This guy's got a lot of cards. Bronzong, and these are mostly rare. These are all rares, actually. These are all non hollow rares. Wow, that's crazy. Cherim, Drapion. Yeah, these are all from the Diamond and Pearl series. You got Drift Bloons and Dust Gnar. Got a bunch of Gengars here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, lots of Diamond and Pearl. I think I think he opened a lot of Diamond and Pearl. Um, I've seen a few of his uh, uh, YouTube videos um, back when I first discovered that he did uh, do some YouTube videos. This is the brother of my friend who lent me her lent me her collection. So this he's not letting me keep these, uh, obviously. But Armaldos. And then Bell Awesome and Crawdont. Uh, so he's just letting me show these off, and just so I could like maybe gauge it in a video and see uh, if any of these cards are worth a good chunk of money. Um, I'm sure these are probably all like these non-hollow rares, but just because they're Diamond and Pearl, they're probably going up in value because Diamond and Pearl is so hard to, it's difficult to find now. You can't really find those packs because um, they were what early 2010s. This is before 
the XY set. Is it before the XY? Yeah, before XY. Even before black and white. This might be actually... Um, These might be black and white. I'm not sure. I will tell you in the edits that I make. But the levels... Right? Oh, we got the Reggies. Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. Nice. Torkoal, Vileplume, Crobat. Um, yeah, so, uh, I will link it in the eye above, the person whose collection I'm talking about. Gyarados. Gyarados G. Oh, Team Galactic. Oh, so that's what that means. That's, the G means the Team Galactic Pokemon. Oh, that's interesting. But, you don't have to evolve it? That's, that's really interesting. It doesn't say you have to evolve it or not. Cool. Uh, yeah, I will link it in the eye above. Okay, we got some weird cards here. This is a non-Pokemon, uh, non-Pokemon related card game. I have no idea what these are. Uh, if anybody knows what these are or how to play, let me know. Oh, we got some trainers. So, we got Computer Search, uh, Item Finder, All Rares again, Super Energy Removal, Item Finder again, more Super Energy Removals. Wow, okay. And then we got some more and more stuff. Uh, we got some Team Rocket in here. So we've got Full Heal Energy, Potion Energy, Potion Energy, Our Energy from Team Rocket Returns, Dark Metal Energy. Is that Hidden Light? No, I don't know what that is, actually. Um, look it up. And more Dark Metal Energies. Cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, um, that's it for the first binder. Now we go into the second binder, and the second binder, let me take these out, uh, I can already tell from the top that we've got plenty and plenty, I mean, just from how thick the binder is, there's plenty to look at, and I believe these are all uh, holographic, so let me put this off to the side, oh no, don't spill! Here we go. Wow. All right. So, starting off, we have a Mewtwo level X, Dust Noir level X, Team Rocket's Scizor EX from Rocket, uh, Team Rocket Returns. So, this is definitely, it's in the set that I want to complete. Azelf level X, Heatran level X, Empoleon level X, Dialga, Giratina, Rayquaza level X. That's a pro These are all promos down here. So I think these are all, I want to say Diamond and Pearl era. Um, let's see. Got Dust Noirs, Reverse Holographics. Cool. Gyarados, Reverse Holographics. Got three of them. Uh, Mewtwo, Uxian, Azelf, uh, level stuff. And uh, I think, he, yeah, he had a non hollow Gyarados right here. More Reverse Holographics. You got Gliscor. We got Regigigas level X promo, Gliscor level X, Regigigas level X non -pro regular promo set, uh, Luminion reverse holographics. You got a little bit. This is this is. I don't even know words anymore. Regigigas. Okay. This kind of reminds me of the promo that came with the uh, team the Umbreons. Oh, we got a Rainbow Energy first edition from Team Rocket. That's pretty sick. All right. Rainbow Energy. These don't look like reverse holographics, but that's okay. Yeah, these don't seem like they're reverse holographics. These are regular holographics, Lucario, uh, Lugia, Ho-Oh. Oh, these are from the Pop series. Okay, so that's, uh, let's take a look. Come on. Pops, Pop 8 right here. Pop series 8, Pop series 5, Pop series 5. Wow, I'm very sorry if I'm very close to the mic. Ooh, ooh, I like these. Okay, so we have some Team Rocket, EX Team Rocket Returns stamped reverse holographic cards. You got Rocket's Mission, you got two of those. Got a Rocket's Pokeball. Uh, Ariados, Rare, Team Rocket Returns R Energy, Reverse uh, Holographic EX Delta Species, Species Darkness Energy right here. Uh, I got a Dark Muck. Doesn't look like it's holographic. Two more first edition Dark Mucks right here. So not everything in here is holographic, but um, that's a good chunk of it is. Ooh, okay. So more darkness energies. We got a darkness energy from Neo Genesis. We got two of them. They're first 
first edition, not first edition, Darkness Energy. Oh, we got some Yu-Gi-Oh in here. Okay. Who who here uh, played Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid? So, we've got Glory of the King's Hand, Duelist Kingdom, Set Sail for the Kingdom. These are token cards. I believe he got these from the uh, Yu-Gi's Legendary Decks. Yeah, you can't use this in an actual duel. But I think these token cards came from Yu-Gi's Legendary Decks. Ooh. Guardian Iatos, the Seal of Ori Calcos. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember those episodes? Come on, Guardian Iatos. Um, who was it? Raphael had Guardian Iatos. And then the left arm of the Forbidden One. It's not first edition, but it is from the LOB print. That's pretty cool. Left arm of the Forbidden One. Exodia! Obliterate! And a card fell out. Oops. Okay, gotta make sure all these cards get back to them safely. Alright, we're back to Pokemon. Salamences. Nice. Alright. Let me clear up that vision. Salamences. Kingdra. Kingdra from Team Rocket. I'm sorry. I only know that I only know certain sets. So uh, if I don't know that set where things are coming from, I'm sorry and I apologize ahead of time. Super Energy Retrieval from Neo Genesis right here. Uh, I got a Chimchar, Piplup, and here comes Team Rocket Holographic from uh, Team Rocket Returns. Ooh. Oh, Chimchar and uh, Piplup are from Pop Six, I believe. Yeah. Ooh. Here we go. Okay. Guys, this right here, these two right here, uh, hmm, I wonder if you can see it. Okay, can you see where it says Torchic? And then this little thingy right here next to the name, it's a it's a gold star. This is the, these two are from the Team Rocket Returns, and these two are the first ever gold star in the EX era. Like, these are the first cards, this is the, the Team Rocket Returns. Featuring Torchic, uh, Trico, and Mudkip Gold Stars are the first Gold Stars to ever be printed, right? They're the first in that line, and these cards raw go for like three, four hundred dollars each, I believe. I'll research it, but these two, just these two cards alone, are worth like a good chunk of money here, because <laughs> they're the first ones, and to get them in graded good condition too, like I've seen them go for a lot. I'm very jealous because these two are probably going to be the hardest cards to find in all of the Team Rocket Returns uh, cards. And I still want to complete the set. <laughs> I got a Death Noir right here. Uh, Swablu, Reverse Holographic. Electabuzz and Charmeleon. Interesting because these aren't from base set, but they're like a reprint and a modified version of the base set art uh, artwork. Uh, I got a Voltorb looking here. Uh, Magnazone and Dust Noir. Ooh, ooh. All right, we got some stuff I recognize. Here we go. I got a Gyarados from base set. Nice. Holographic. Zapdos from Fossil Holographic. First edition Machamp from the base set collection, but that card only came in the theme decks. I got a Misty's Gold Duck. Giovanni's Nidoking rare, uh, Holographic. Giovanni's Machamp. Nice, nice. Hitmontop from Neo Discovery. Hopefully, I'm thinking that one's right. Uh, Heracross, Neo Genesis, and base set Hitmonchan. Nice. All right, we got some more coming up. More, more Wizards of the Coast. We got a Dark Pig Porygon 2, Neo Destiny, Dark Porygon um, Revelation, I think. Delibird Revelation. If I've got the set wrong and I've been saying it wrong the entire time, I'm sorry. Light Azumarill um, from Destiny, Dark Typhlosion from Destiny. Koga, and then we got the three god cards from Yu-Gi-Oh! Slifer, the Sky Dragon, Obelisk, the Tormentor, and the Winged Dragon of Raw. Sorry, I'm trying to make it sound epic, but my voice kind of sucks today, so I apologize. Hey, we got some more Team Rocket Returns! I got a Paula Swine and a Togetic. Yo, this guy, he's got the cards that I need. I got two reverse holographic Deli Birds that are stamped from Team Rocket Returns. First edition, not English, Bulbasaur. I don't know what language that's in. French? It might be French. Team Rocket's Mistrevious. Team Rocket Returns Mistrevious. Uh, reverse holographic. You got a holographic Team Magma's Agron. Quillfish reverse holographic. Ooh. Yo, seriously, this guy's got like all the cards, so many cards that I need from. <clears throat> He's got so many cards that I need for the set. Wow, what is up with my voice today? 
I don't have any water on me, sorry. Dark Marowak. That's a holographic. Dark Ampharos holographic. Dark Steelix holographic from all from Team Rocket Returns. We got a tar Dark Grobat, Crobat holographic. Two reverse Team Rocket Returns. We got Dark Houndoom and Dark Marowak. Another reverse Dark Marowak. See, this one's a holographic right here. Um, hopefully you can tell, but that is a holographic. Even through the plastic, it's a holographic. And so I think this is the one that came in the uh, theme decks. Because as you saw in the previous binder, he had three of these or something like that, and they weren't holographic. I got a reverse Dark Hypno. So this page here, probably probably about a hundred bucks for this page right here. So, or more if you auction on eBay. Oh man, oh man, y'all ready for this? I have a Sabrina holographic from the Gym series. Don't I can never remember which one's Gym Challenge, which one's Gym Heroes. Neo Discovery Umbreon. Nice. That's a holographic right there. I got a... Ooh. Wow. Okay. We've got a W stamped Dark Arbar. So that's like some sort of promo for like a league. So I... It's a... There's a W stamp for Wizards of the Coast. Here. Let me uh, show you that a little bit better. You guys can see that? Okay. So W stamp cards are kind of like promo e cards. Um, so I need to go look at that up. I'm not sure how much that's worth, but I'll, I'll definitely let you know. Uh, Koga's Beedrill right here, also from the gym. But hello to Blaine's Charizards. These in a fair good condition go for about almost $200 each. In better condition, it'll be worth more because people want to buy the better condition ones and they'll be willing to pay more. In the graded conditions, we're talking thousands, a couple thousands here, if it's a PSA 10. You got Sabrina's Gengar. That's a pretty cool card. First edition, Sabrina's Gengar. Okay. And two Sabrina's Alakazams. So this guy has some really good hitters in his uh, collection for sure. Got a Rocket Snorlax from the Gym series again. Got a Gyarados, another Gyarados. Got an Umbreon in Japanese. Dragonair, Light Dragonair from Neo Destiny. Neo Destiny is the only set that has light and dark type Pokemons in one set. Tyranitar EX, that's pretty sick. Yo, that's pretty good artwork for a Tyranitar. Tyranitar EX, uh, I think that's a Stunfisk right here. Sharpedo, Giratina, those look like reverse holographics. Plenty more. Oh, I got a couple more pages to go. Alright, let's blow through this because I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to keep this under 30 minutes, my bad people. Wigglytuff from Crystal Guardians, Legend Maker, Magmar, Snorlax, reverse holographic from Fire Red Leaf Green. It doesn't have a stamp, but it has the Poke Pokeball right here. Uh Ampharos, cool. Flygons from Pop 6. More Ampharoses. Hey, Delta Species Ampharos, a normal type. I always like the Delta Species cards. Those are very interesting to look at, just to see what combinations they have. Uh, Uxie, Me Sprite, and Azelf. Licky Licky, Celebi, and a Slake, Slacking, Manaphy, Charizard, Absol, uh, Reverse Holographics, and Regular Holographics. Alright, got some more. Sceptile, Regigigas, and Miss Magus. We got Empoleons. Oh, that's right. Empoleon is a Steel type. Uh, Magnazone. Magnazones. Alright, some more reverse holographics here. Bronzong, Torteras, Skuntank, Scizor, Roserade, Deoxys, Normal Form. Interesting. Why is it, it why is normal form why is form spelled with an E? Somebody tell me that. I have no idea. Form spelled with an E here. Uh Tyranitar and Steelix. Okay. Some more pages to go. We got Deoxys, Speed Form, Attack Form, and Normal Form, all spelled with an E. Girantina, Girantina, uh, Dragonite, Deoxys Defense Form, Probopass, Mewtwo, Metagross, Metagross or Metagross, uh, Regigigas, Politoed, Politoads, uh, Delcaddy, Yanmegas, Heatrans, and a Ditto, Reverse Holographics, except for the Regigigas and up top, Girantina, Registeel, Regice, Hunchcrow, Garchomp, Gold Dog. I feel like I'm doing the Pokey Rap. Giovanni's Last Resort. Two Sabrinas. One in English and one in Japanese. Oh, okay. Alright, so we're, we're, we're at the end because this is the final, uh, the boss's way. Um, final Pokemon page, it looks like. The boss's way. First edition, Team Rocket. Got some token cards. 
again, uh, I think this is Legendary Collection, Yugi's Legendary Decks, Legendary Collection, that's pretty cool, Karibos right here, Token, Dark Magician Girl, and I don't know which one that is, but it looks like a jump promo. Uh, I don't think this ever got released in English, it's a Dark Magician Girl probably, because it looks the same, but it never got, I don't know if it got released in English, and I got some interesting cards, because... <laughs> These are Mabel Story cards, and I have no idea what they're worth. But these are, these look like they're holographic. Some of them are holographic. Pianist is holographic. Man and the Dragon is holographic. This is the uh, Maple Story ITCG. I assume that means Internet TCG. But that's very interesting. I never knew that Maple Story had cards. I knew Maple Story was a very popular online game. But I never knew it had cards, and I have no idea how this works. So if anybody knows what Maple Story cards are worth, please let me know. Um, but in any case, yes, that is what this man has for his collection to allow us to show off today. And hopefully you all enjoyed it. We're going we're gonna to end things off here by showing off the... Uh, gold star cards right here hopefully you all enjoyed it let me know what you think um i'm very jealous of a lot of the cards that he's had has in his collection mainly just because i mean like he also opened these cards 10 years ago and so it i'm totally understandable like why it cost him so much less because these team rocket packs probably cost him like 10 bucks a pack 10 years ago um which is why he has so many of the team rocket returns cards uh however I, it, like it's going for like three four hundred bucks a pack now heavy heavy packs going for even more so i'm very jealous um hopefully i'll i'll complete my master set someday but uh we'll see but in the meantime horus i'm very jealous of your collection uh hope you all enjoyed it like subscribe if you would care to comment your thoughts on this collection hopefully i will be able to showcase more collections because Friends are always digging up their Pokemon cards, so I'd be like, hey, you want to show this on your channel? Hey, you want to get, you want to take my Pokemon cards? I'm not, I'm not doing anything with them. Like, sure, I will do it. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope Thursday treats you well. Have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday for more pack openings. And until then, bye bye Oh, stay safe.